Hey, what's going on there guys? It is Earthmaster here. January 11th, 2018, about 10.51 a.m. here on the West Coast and uh, looking at some earthquake data coming in right now. Pretty quiet uh, on these seismograph stations, although in different parts of the world that is not the case. Got some rather deep earthquakes occurring near the Fiji Islands region. Uh, we're a 5.5 struck here just a short time ago. Uh, and then the most recent earthquake following that 5.5 deep earthquake is a 6.0 earthquake over around the country of Burma. That's uh, located over there in the uh, around Laos and and uh, if I'm thinking right, uh, Magway and all these locations over here is where this epicenter is uh, located. You got Laos over here in Thailand and. Uh, Cambodia. This region of the world just experienced a 6.0 earthquake. No doubt these guys definitely felt it. Um, rather large one at 10 kilometers below the surface. Not deep, so definitely people are going to be uh, shaken up a little bit in that region of the world. Uh, you can see down here the shake map and the exact location of the epicenter. Uh, looks like some moderate shaking, uh, moderate to possibly strong there around the epicenter near uh, Henzada and uh, some other names I probably can't pronounce there or not even going to attempt to pronounce. Also got a 5.5 like I said prior to that 6.0 uh, very deep below the surface there near the Fiji Islands region. This one here is 510 kilometers below the surface and that's a rather moderately deep or a moderately strong very deep earthquake uh, in this part of the world along that Pacific plate now, once again, whenever we see any type of large scale movement like that, we like to pay attention and be on alert for some larger scale activity. Now, the 6.0 that followed that 5.5 deep earthquake is a ways away from the uh, Pacific plate structure over here, the Pacific ring of fire, if you will. Um, so not going to say this is directly related in any way, uh, but you never know. Uh, you know, 500 and something kilometers below the surface there is definitely a uh, uh, some deep movement and uh, ultimately can affect uh, you know other plates uh, being that far down there there's just a lot going on down there right now uh, looks like a five pointer there south of the uh, let's get this region here Costa Rica region here looks like so a little bit of activity down there as well other than that the rest of the globe's quieting down uh, not too much activity near Honduras where they had that large earthquake there a couple days ago. Uh, some swarming it looks like, it appears, over in this part of the world as well. These are older earthquakes now. You can see the redder rings indicating some older earthquakes. Uh, the whiter and green indicating more recent. Uh, but they definitely had some type of swarming going on over there. Possible it could be related to this 6.0 earthquake that just struck here just a few minutes ago. This was near uh, Iraq, Mandel Mandelia, Iraq. So we'll keep an eye out. This part of the world looks fairly active. Like I say, we got uh, some swarming over there near Iraq, 6.0 near the uh, Laos and uh, uh, this part of the world over here, which I'm not too familiar with geographically. But uh, definitely some deep movement down near Fiji Islands region. And uh, well, the west coast looks pretty quiet. The rest of the country looks pretty quiet. A little bit of activity up near Yellowstone. Nothing too big. Um, Puerto Rico swarming. Uh, 4.9 up there near uh, top part of the globe up here. But nothing too, uh, too much of a concern out there, guys. Anyway, have an earthquake plan as always. We're seeing the P waves now from that 6.0 showing up on, uh, well, the closest station I have pulled up here in Japan. Uh, Matsuhiro, Japan, is picking up the P waves right now. And that's this wavy uh, feature that you're seeing in the seismograph data coming in there. And uh, it, it, it'll be uh, going around the globe here. Not too strongly, but uh, nonetheless, it'll be picked, it'll be picked up on uh, the stations here. A little bit of activity up uh, Southern California, a little spike there, also a little spike near Chile. Small minor earthquakes, probably 2.0 or less. Uh, but for now, 
we'll call it uh, we'll call the video and uh, get this thing out there as always guys like I said be uh, be prepared you never know when an earthquake may strike out there